how were you able to come out of the vicious circle? Uh, which one, Pastor? The I, you know the idea of being a woman sitting down with children, oh. taking care of your husband. Yes, okay, because uh, that is also from the training that I got here. Because I I came to face uh, my I came to know that I am responsible to whatever happens around me, and God has mm. put such gifts in me. That those gifts are not for me and my family alone. That Amen. those gifts is to change the world, Amen. is to help to transform the world. Amen. So uh, based on that, I, I I realize yes that all these gifts are not in me, only for my family. Mm. So I could go forth, and there so is So you're not looking at all the little little problems like money. Where do I take that from? How we have for the kids and all that? You are able to rise above that, right? Yes able to rise above that because this is our first calling that God has given yeah, to us. That's true. He says we are to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Mm, that is true. And that he is will the first add all calling. the rest. I like the way you put it. That yes. is our first that's calling. Our first mm. calling. Mm. Seek first yes. the kingdom of God. That's the first calling. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Well put. So if I can seek first his kingdom um, he will add all. He will take care of all these little things, you know. Brilliant, brilliant, me. excellent. And I, I've seen it because as I go forth helping other people, I feel fulfilled myself, you mm. know. I, I think I'm now beginning to live exactly. again, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you are originally from Ghana. I'm from Ghana. So you have, actually have the potential to impact both Belgium and Ghana as uh, well. Yes, I have both. All right, and then you are originally from Nigeria, yes. so you have the potential to influence not just England, but Nigeria as well, and other countries, and other countries. Mm -hmm. And you are originally from US. US. So you have, uh, I, 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 I'm sure you do from Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't just know people in Atlanta. Right. I'm I'm from US. I'm originally my birthplace is North Carolina. Okay. I live in Atlanta now, but came to Atlanta from Boston. So you still but know people oh, oh, you know both North Carolina, <laughs> Boston, Atlanta. Atlanta, right? Yes. And then I interact with my heart passion is global evangelism and missions. So I interact with a lot of international um, pastors and or ministries and have been abroad before. But why do missions. why will you think that history makers training that you've been through and you are going through right now? Mm -hmm. Is helpful for the body to you. Because Why do you think, out mm -hmm. of all what you've seen mm -hmm. and heard, you probably listen to a number of ministers as well in your life? Mm -hmm. From all over the world. But the difference is, while they might be able to declare a message, um, you you not only declare the message, but you have a process in place. I see. The and systems. not only yeah the process and the systems and it's you very clearly articulated. Some ministries, I would say there are some ministries that have, they give you the execution piece on some level, but it's a little bit more superficial. It's not really empowering the individual. It may empower you to a point to do what they want within that realm, but now to make you believe that you're empowered to go change nations to become a savior to a people or a land is very different. Brilliant. And, I like doing And so it. what you, you're, you're not in any way intimidated by whatever vision God has given to any of us mm -hmm. because it's, it's not going to affect the vision you have. In fact, we're going to help to you reach your vision mm -hmm. more because of it's just an extension. Yes. And so the other thing is that a lot of other leaders within their own uh, parameter, whether it's within the four, four walls of the church, uh, that's kind of where it's, it's been localized there. Mm. Um, they haven't really looked, I'm not saying that there are no ministries that haven't looked outside, but I'm saying overall, mm -hmm. when we consider the overall church, we've done less of a job of that. Um, I have the benefit of also... You're looking at, you're talking mm -hmm. about the you know, coming out of the four walls of the church mm -hmm. for the rest of the church or for the rest of the world or for all spheres of society? All spheres of society. I, I've worked in corporate America uh, in sales and consulting previously. Oh. So um, organizations also need to be transformed. Many of them are very siloed, just like 
churches. Churches are denominational. They, everybody gets in their own little group. In corporations, it's the same thing. They look at things uh, in many respects just siloed, uh, one functional area, but you have a lot of duplication and inefficiency. So those organizations also need to be Trans transformed. Transformation. In like kind, you have leaders within organizations that are very similar, where they can be hierarchical, they are more, um, they lead by coercion as opposed to really inspiring people or motivating them. And it's because of their own insecurities and whatnot. So they, they are concerned about their little bitty, little bitty area. Yeah, they're and they're still in the four walls. Years, correct, still in the four walls. And there hasn't always been the emphasis on character. I think the training for history makers is it's more comprehensive. It addresses every facet. Mm -hmm. You're calling the whole man of us to Brilliant. come alive. Brilliant. It's not one facet of it that mm -hmm. you're only you're, you're saying no. You're going to need all these all these pieces need to be working together. Mm -hmm. And like I, I think somebody said it before, uh, you're very clear that life is predictable. So if you're not succeeding. It's by okay, choice. Either okay. you don't know something, you or you have not been something. willing to pay the price. Mm. You're not applying what you know, or you have violated it. And you're, I, I think that's one of the things I really love about you. I heard you initially on TBN. I was in another room, and the authority with which you spoke made me come out of the room to say, who is that? Okay, you are not even looking at the program. I wasn't even looking at the program. <laughs> I first you are only hearing the voice. Correct. And then I later um, ran to you. Uh, some oh, I think you. Did you the came to watch training. the program. No, I wasn't at TVN. So you only I heard. Was, I was somewhere, uh, maybe not even at my own residence, ah. but I heard your voice, and you. There was this, and I ran. And you, you were small in statue, but there was this <laughs> man bouncing energy. around on yeah, <laughs> full of energy, very much alive. And you were, it's the passion you have. Yeah. The passion that you have says, this person is serious. They know what I they're talking about. This person is not joking around. They make they're not just they... talking something. So you could walking. sense that from yes. TV? Yes, yes. Yeah. from TV. And then uh, you did a leadership training. And you were so, you're In very Atlanta. forthright. Yes, you're very forthright. And you were hitting Well, that offends mind. people. Yeah, but you, you were saying things that other leaders would not say openly. Well, that's and why, because they don't want to leader. offend people, though. Correct. So, but why should that attract you? The boldness that you had. The boldness and your willingness to not compromise. It didn't matter. You weren't willing to do it. And then the Synergize Conference, um, the Church Shift book, the releasing of that, but here were these leaders from all over the world that came to this event. And the, these were leaders I had, in some cases, I knew of them. Some leaders I had seen or heard on television, but I knew had international um, influence. Impact, mm -hmm. influence. And they were here, and I won't, probably won't ever forget it. This, that was in Atlanta, the, right? Yes, one of the sessions you did. Here were a group of leaders down at the altar. I mean, these, these were leaders were who were internationally renowned. Yes, international. These were who were successful, big time successful in their own class, yes. in their own. Yes, and from all nations, probably maybe. 40 countries. Yeah, and, and they were, the word that was coming through your mouth provoked them, drew them to the altar willingly. They were bowed down, repenting before God. So they were confronting. Oh, they were crying. Yes. They were weeping, actually. And so I think the other thing, so I, there's a consistency there. And it's like there is always results. I see the fruitfulness I in see. your own life. So you saw results and fruitfulness. Yes. Yes. And it was inspiring other people. These were people that came from, like I said, they came from other countries. And very different denominations as well. Yes. And that was the thing that I liked because 
it sounded like the message that I was reading about in the Bible. Mm. And that I was reading that the Ashtabha, early disciples were doing. And it was breaking down completely barriers. There were no longer denominational walls. There were people of all races, gender, no problem. There were women, men, there was young and old there. And it captured, I mean, I saw a transformation happening there. And, and I saw people being inspired to now go transform. They were willing to do it. And so I think as time progressed, although I knew I was doing some things, I had had some, I was like, mm, there's an inconsistency here. And so the History Makers training for me has helped uh, identify. It's making me hold myself accountable more and helping me to fill in the gaps where I had information or knowledge missing so that I would know now what to do. It also provided a network of like-minded people mm -hmm. who are on a track to do what God has purposed, who know it and they are doing it. Because otherwise you can, you can be with some people, if you're not careful, you'll be beside naysayers or people who are settling for mediocrity. And I don't want to live a mediocre life. I don't think that's what we're purposed to do. I want to excel. And so the people here in Ukraine, everyone that I've heard talk, everyone, not, not just one person, hasn't been uh, here, maybe three more people down, no, everyone. They've maintained that same kind of fervor and passion. And they, they don't blink their eye, they're serious about what they're doing. So um, I think that's helpful. When I left the History Makers training the last time, we actually stopped in D.C. at uh, the International Justice Mission. But will you really say, mm -hmm. have you ever thought about it? Is that the wisdom of God? That why would you need to travel so far to Ukraine of all places? Well, I'm, um, to I'm see a that. person of to courage. See that. If it's not where I am, I'm willing to go to where it is. If God but why would God place a thing like that in a hidden place like Ukraine? Well, it's hidden Could in some respects, but to be frankly honest, people all over the world are talking about what's happening in Ukraine. So That's interesting. Um, in fact, I mean, people that are not from the Ukraine have told me things that are, have happened here at the Ukraine. And they are saying, have you been to the Ukraine? I and, see. And I found myself saying, I haven't been yet. I have heard past Sunday. Oh, I desire to go. And so it's like, okay. <laughs> The opportunity presented itself, and 